All right, the first one we have is that there is a nighttime parade coming to the Magic Kingdom in the summer of 2025. Yay! Oh, yeah. We have a button for that. Yeah, this one was this one was a big one for me at least. Um, this is one of my main ones that I talked about last episode that I was really excited that they hope they announce. Uh, but this is called Disney Starlight, and it will continue the nighttime spectacular legacy started by the Main Street Electrical Parade, using the latest technology to tell new stories about the characters you love. All of this is brought to life by the magic of the Blue Fairy, in addition to beloved characters from Walt Disney Animation Studios films, Peter Pan, Encanto, Frozen, and more. So, here we go. Yeah, uh, so one thing you'll notice about everything they announced here is a little bit different than years past. They did not go into details on much of anything, really. It was no. a lot of concept art, a lot of that wording light right there. Uh, and, you know, casually, they just said coming in 2025. So they were... V- but it's summer. It's summer 2025. It's su- Right. It is. Yes. Su- and this is what I had been hearing was that essentially Disney's, I guess, n- not really an answer, but they were going to offer up as an alternative or I guess to combat Epic Universe on some of them were shows and parades that they were going to advertise. They did this back when the Wizarding World first hop- popped up and they kind of had this summer show spectacular type of thing if i remember correctly mm, i don't remember uh so this was what we kept hearing because they're they were not gonna have anything ready for 2025 mm-hmm. outside of stuff like this so uh this one i mean i have people have been asking for this yes i'm not a parade person much myself but i do know people have been wanting this it's been something that's been missing outside if you've had it at halloween parties and christmas parties so yeah so main street main street electrical parade i loved it as a kid and then they did Spectra Magic, which was similar, but a different kind of parade. Um, and then even like Paint the Night Parade over at Disneyland. Mm-hmm. So I hope this is going to be like just a n- the next step in technology. So like a you lot think. of light, a lot of colors, um, hopefully. just I, I, I think it's also too, it's a really good thing for Magic Kingdom because right now at Magic Kingdom, it's just the fireworks at night. So it is like a crazy mad dash to get out of the park once the fireworks are over. And I think if you have some other kind of nighttime thing like this parade, I think it can help with crowd management a little bit. For sure. You know what I mean? Now, yeah. some people will stay for both, obviously. Um, but, you know. Also, the park staying open later would help with that as well. Absolutely. And I th- there will be a lot of people that will just be like, okay, well, I'm not going to watch the parade. I'm not a parade person. I'm just going to go ride rides and, you know, all that stuff. So I think there's more opportunity for them to, you know, I guess keep more people there longer at night and make potentially make more money, <laughs> which is always a good thing for them. Um, but, uh but also crowd control. I think it'll be it'll be good for that. And it's just, again, something else to do at night at Magic Kingdom. True. This is very true. So I'm, I'm all for it. Now, one thing, like we talked about, Disney wanted to make it very clear. They made many jokes during the presentation that this was not blue sky. They wanted to, no. they were making it very, very clear. So at, on each, so everything that was announced as it was announced, you know, obviously people tweeting about it, but Disney Parks blog would have an article about it. And every single article, what did it say, Jamie? It says a quote from Josh Diamaro. Every single article that was talking about new stuff coming yes. said this. And this is when they did, it's like up to the minute update. So it had every t- every single one. It said, quote, at Disney Experiences, Imagineers dream, create, design, and build these stories into real places. And we have Imagineers in place right now all over the world because everything we're going to share with you is in active development. Plans are drawn. Dirt is moving. I just want to be clear about this. We are doing everything you're going to hear tonight, end quote. So they are very, very, very adamant to say, this is not blue sky stuff. This is happening. I also think they said that, well, obviously, because people were they were so mad, were so mad about blue sky. But also, I think because they were so light on a lot of the details. So. And I think this parade is the first thing that we're getting, right? I mean, it would, well, outside, From the announcements? it depends. There's a couple other ones. That aren't rides and attractions that oh, might. Oh, that's right. That's right. But okay. this yeah. is 2025. The, the assumption yeah. would be spring, summer of 2025. Okay. So Got that's it. the assumption. 